In the asset management industry, data is the new gold. So um, first of all, within and internally within the organization, looking at how systems talk to each other and making sure that you've won what we call front to back view of data all the way through the organization, as opposed to having legacy systems that can't communicate with each other and really different parts of different elements or different aspects of a story, whereas really it should be one piece of data or one view of the data. But if more interestingly, when you look at the power of data to change how asset managers can bring new ideas from an investment perspective, it's really exciting. So there's been a couple of different developments around data. One is, first of all, the volume of data that's now accessible and available much more cheaply and affordably. And also, secondly, the ability to store and then analyze that data has become much more affordable. So it opens up a whole new uh, opportunity for asset management firms in terms of getting that data and then analyzing it to really bring out useful and new insights to help with the whole investment management process. I think some of the challenges around data, and they're not exclusive to the asset management industry, but some of the challenges are that data is, is not structured in some cases. In other cases, it's not in the same format. So, it, so again, it can't be combined in a useful way together. There's so much of it, but it resides in different systems across the organization that, that aren't able to communicate with each other. And then you've continuing demands from investors or end users for how they want to see the data. So they, many investors will have very bespoke requirements. So you really need a very flexible data management system that can be reactive and responsive in an efficient way to, to be tailored to important investor requirements, as well as regulatory requirements or other stakeholders who need to uh, access that data. Mm -hmm.